How's it going everybody? This week I'm going to show you how to make your first print on the Anycubic Photon using the Chi2 Box Slicer. Hey there everybody, my name is Adrian. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every single week. So this week we're going to be taking a look at how to slice your files to be able to print on the Anycubic Photon and a lot of this can be easily applied to other resin printers like the Elegoo Mars for example. We're going to be doing this with a program called chi box Slicer so let me go ahead and show you what you need to do on the computer. So first you will want to go to the chi box website and from there select your version of Windows you'd like to download the software for. It will prompt you to sign in with an account, so go ahead and make one of those, and then you'll be able to download the program wherever you'd like onto your computer. Once you've got it installed, you'll want to open it up, and you'll click on the Settings tab on the right, and then you'll be able to go select your printer, more than likely if you have like an Anycubic Photon or Elegoo Mars. Then you've got your settings um, for your different resins and your print settings. Uh, I just leave everything on default for the Anycubic Photon. Then it was time to drag in my file. Um, you just can open up another folder and drag it straight into the software. Then you'll want to orient your part with the side you care about the least facing towards the bed of the printer and that's just because that's where all of these supports will connect. If you want some more in-depth information about supports I will have a video linked in the description. For this part I just uh, used the auto support function and um, I was okay with those so I just left them alone. Another thing that I like to do that can help you save resin on your larger prints is hollow out the interior. And to do that, you just select a wall thickness and inner hollow, and you let the software do its thing. Once you've got all your parts you wanted onto the bed, you're now ready to slice them. And then you can save them onto a flash drive and go over to the printer and plug it in. So first you just turn on your photon. Uh, the bed leveling and everything has already been done on mine. If you want to know how to do that, I'll have a link in the description. Here is the resin I'm using. So to print your files, you go through the print menu and you find your sliced file. You'll be able to see with little photos. And then you just select it and hit the print start button. And now your Anycubic Photon or other resin printer is printing. So hopefully you've successfully printed your first print on the Anycubic Photon now. And next week we are going to be taking a look at how to take those prints and remove them from the build plate and post process them so you can finish them and paint them and do whatever you want with them. And that is it for this week's video. If you guys enjoy watching DIY content and 3D printing videos, make sure to go hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you guys don't miss out on new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.